That's, that's what this guitar is. I mean, it's a one ball, it's history. It's guitar history in one guitar. I mean, it's got mediums on it, and the, and the height is high for grass, but it plays like butter. I was playing a solo on one of his tunes, and he said he was having pickup problems. And he said, I want whatever that is in that guitar, I want that and my dough broke, <laughs> you know, and I said, all right. Now I told him it was a talk, and he said, no, there's no way. I said, yeah. And I got there early for sound check. I said, I need to find the best guitar I can for this gig, you know, because the Sam Bush gig's a prestigious gig, you know. Got in, Sam got there for sound check, and I tried the first guitar, which wasn't the talk, and, and Rick said, put that one down. So I grabbed the next one, and I left everything as flat as I could on here to be Fair, you know, it was blind, kind of like the blind test you did, you guys did here. And so anyway, we played our first show, and Sam, Sam was having me try uh, guitars through the show. Anyway, so I tried another guitar, and we just went through systematically and did each one, and, and you know, and Sam called me Buford, and he nicknamed for some reason nicknamed me Buford. I don't know why, but he said Buford, the Takamini wins. You know, why are you using a Takamini? I go, the reason I'm using a Takamini is because it, it passes all of the tests professionally that I have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, I'm in the studio, play with Billy Bob Thornton. The engineer there has been at the record plant for 15 years, and the guy's fantastic. If it doesn't sound good, he'll let me know. You know, let's, let's try something else, and let's try another guitar. You know, having a neck that doesn't tire my hand out is so important, especially with medium gauge strings. So I'm in love with that setup right there. Uh, I'm also in love with the fact that it's got a split bridge and most of the other great guitars I have have a single saddle and so when you're in the studio you've got to deal with the fact could you stop I've got to punch in let me retune you know and that just stops progress so this bridge right here you know if everybody would put that on their guitars <laughs> we'd have a better world <laughs> but I mean it just everything's in tune you know and I, being a player that I play with Sam Bush and I play with Marty Stewart and Earl Scruggs and different people, I'm one that will, will get down here occasionally, you know, and you actually use that part of the neck. But the bridge is set up so well for tuning that, I mean, that right there just says it all. And then this pickup, no one's going to beat this for a long time, and you know that. I mean, it's just, no one's going to touch it for, I don't, you know, I'm sure at the NAMM show, they're dying to make something that'll beat this. When, when they run three volts through the tube, uh, the fatness out of this system, and, and basically it says a lot about talking and you want to go back to tradition and tone, you know. But they still got the, the, the wonderful solid state logic that's in here that we need, you know, to make it all happen with EQ and everything, you know. And this particular um, EQ has been redesigned a little bit. The headroom on the highs and lows is so wide that if you can't get what you want out of here, you're, you're in trouble. You might as well go back to square one. You know, if I'm in a session and I want to plug up, nine times out of ten, I'll keep this. We'll, we'll track and keep this. Jim Mitchell in, in Los Angeles, that guy that worked with Record Plant, is keeping, that's how good the pickup sounds. You know, just straight in, DI. I just said, there's no way we're going to keep that. You know, because direct sins are normally crunchy and hard and terrible, but this is so fat. It's just another, I think, another testimony that Takamidi is going to go straight to the wall. But there's nothing I don't like about this. I mean, not one tiny thing I don't like about this guitar, other than it doesn't have a cappuccino machine on it.